Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Martia Umar. Nigeria's government has set new condition for Twitter, Facebook and other social media platforms to be allowed to operate in the country. The firm must register with relevant agencies, pay taxes and obtain licenses from National Broadcasting Commission, NBC. National Coordinator of National Malaria Elimination Program, Dr. Perpetua Ohomoibi, wants the stakeholders in the health sector to forge a united front against malaria. The coordinator in the statement says concerted effort is needed to win the war against the killer disease. Following suspension of two months old Justin strike, judiciary workers in River State will only receive salary next month. This is in line with no work, no pay policy of Governor Yesam Wike. Former President Olusha Gunabasanjo wants secession agitations to stop insisting that Nigeria is better as a united country. Abbasanjo also said those leading the call for secession have only diminished themselves. A woman pressure group, Jamir Matang Ariwa, wants a national referendum to address fate of insecurity in Kelins ravaging parts of the country. The group staged protests in Kaduna to express anger over rising violence in the country. On the foreign scene, United States President Joe Biden has launched his first official overseas trip with a warning to Russia that it faces a robust and meaningful consequences if it engages in harmful activities. Joe Biden made clear his intention to strengthen ties with U.S. allies following strained relations under the Trump's administration. And that wraps it up for our news summary. Stay tuned for updates. I am Martia Umer. Thank you for watching.